For centuries, Scotland has hidden a beast in plain sight. It's made sparing appearances that only the luckiest people have witnessed with their own eyes. I'm, of course, talking about the Loch Ness Monster. At least that's what some people believe. Some are a bit more on the skeptical side. Yet there have been a number of alleged videos and photos of Nessie, one of which we're going to discuss today. We're also going to examine other mythical creatures across the globe and see how much money these expeditions to find them can cost. So let's get started. The first mention of the legendary beast was in the book Life of St. Columba by Adomnan. The book talks about the events that happened in the year 565, nearly 1,500 years ago. That's how long we've been contemplating Nessie's existence. The book was published around 100 years after the events described. As such, some have questioned how accurate Adomnan's story is since so much time has passed. The book states that St. Columba was an Irish priest who was visiting the River Ness, which was near the modern Scottish city in Virna. Whilst there, he came across a man burying a body on its bank. Intrigued, Columba went and spoke to the strange man. The man told the priest that his friend, the person he was burying, was swimming in the river. The friend was dragged underwater by some kind of massive creature. The man tried to save him whilst on a boat, but he was unable to get there in time. Columba was concerned about the beast, so he examined the river himself. Columba sent out one of his followers into the river to swim as bait for the beast. The beast rapidly approached the frightening swimmer. However, Columba made the sign of the cross with his hands and told the beast to come no further. It worked. Nessie was banished and departed into the river's depths once more. The most famous image of the monster came in 1934. Since then, it's been used as a key argument for the existence of the Loch Ness Monster. Robert Kenneth Wilson, a surgeon from London who was visiting the area, took what is known as the surgeon's photograph, as when it was first released, Wilson wanted to remain anonymous. This iconic photo is black and white. It shows what looks like a long neck of Nessie popping out of the water. It's become an image of legend, with many believers seeing this as proof. However, the image has come under a lot of accusations that, eh, it might be a hoax, with one story going into detail on how the photo was created as a practical joke. A group of people used a toy submarine and a model to give the impression it was Nessie's head poking out of the water. But others believe this photograph is authentic. One of the biggest projects on Loch Ness was Operation Deep Scan in 1987. There, the scientists used a massive amount of sonar equipment and 24 boats to search the entire Loch Ness for the elusive beast. The sonar picked up three unusual contacts in the water. It seemed like the objects were large, yet what they were exactly is unknown. However, it's speculated that they were made by either seals or a large family of salmon. The cost of the vast equipment used was valuable valued at 1 million pounds at the time of 1987, or $1.25 million. With inflation, that would be 2.8 million pounds or $3.5 million today. Another massive expedition was taken in 2003 by the BBC. They recorded the event in a documentary called Searching for the Loch Ness Monster. The BBC used 600 separate sonar beams and satellite navigation technology to map the whole of the loch. Besides from finding a marooned buoy in the loch's waters, there were no signs of Nessie. As a result, the researchers involved claim Nessie doesn't exist. Hugh McKay, one of the researchers involved in the project, stated in the aftermath, there was an anticipation that we would come up with a large sonar anomaly that could have been the monster, but it wasn't to be. In 2018, a large-scale DNA survey took place in Loch Ness. The leader of the expedition was Neil Gemmell from the University of Otago in New Zealand. Altogether, 250 water samples were taken across the lake at various depths. The DNA from those samples were extracted and sequenced. This resulted in around 500 million sequences that were analyzed against existing databases. The researchers found a large amount of eel DNA throughout their samples, leading to speculation that Nessie could be a giant eel instead of an extinct plesio. As Gemmel was setting up the expedition in 2017, he stated to the media that the cost of the project is likely to be around £100,000, which is around $125,000. After the results had been published, the University of Otago sent two communications staff to work with Gemmel. After all, many of the world's media were interested in the discovery. The university spent $9,000 New Zealand dollars to send the two staff for a few days, which is nearly $5,900 American dollars. In 2019, the record for the most sightings of the Loch Ness Monster in the 21st century was broken with 18, all according to the official Loch Ness Monster Sightings Register. It hasn't been that high since 1983. 2018 has 15 sightings, whilst 2017 had 14. The reason for this massive increase in recent years is due to the increase in available technology. Many people have access to cameras and recording equipment through their phones. As such, they're able to get proof of monsters from myth. There's also a number of webcams and stationary cameras 
cameras that have been put up around the legendary area of Loch Ness. People all over the world are then able to watch and perhaps see something unusual flicker on the screen. On top of that, tourism numbers have been increasing in the area of Loch Ness, so many people are present when unexplained events happen at the loch. All over the world, there are a large number of mythical lake monsters leaving their mark, so we're going to explore some of them. Champ is said to live in Lake Champlain in the US, which is how this critter got its name. It's believed it's a serpent-like creature that bears some resemblance to Nessie. In 1873, Champ fever swept over the states. P.T. Barnum, the American showman and circus owner, is said to have offered a reward of $50,000 for anyone who captured Champ. He said the reward was for anyone who could bring him the hide of the Great Champlain Serpent to add to my Mammoth World's Fair show. With inflation, that's over $1 million today. No one was able to claim the massive prize. The Mokele Mbembe is believed to live in the Congo River Basin in Central Africa. It's described as the last surviving dinosaur in existence. It was first mentioned in an autobiography, Beasts and Men, in 1909. The book was by big game hunter Carl Hagenbeck. Mokele Mbembe has been described as having a horn on its head that it uses to prey on elephants. In 2012, an expedition was funded on Kickstarter for a three-month trip through the Congo to find the Mokele Mbembe. The project raised $29,925 altogether. However, the Mammoth Project was cancelled soon after. The reason was due to unforeseen costs, causing the Mokele Mbembe seekers to need a lot more money. For those wanting to find the beast on their own accord, there are ways to do so. The cost to take your own expedition with a company in the Congo for 12 days is just shy of $9,000. Ogopogo is believed to live in the Okanagan Lake in British Columbia, Canada. It's a large, serpent-like creature that also seems to look like mythical dragons. It also has multiple humps across its long body. In 2000, a resident of British Columbia, John Singleton, put out a massive reward for Ogopogo. For any proof that the creature exists, he would pay out 2 million Canadian dollars. That's around 1.47 American. Singleton also took out an insurance policy just in case someone actually found proof. The cost of the policy was around 30,000 Canadian dollars. However, later he stated the reward was all in the name of marketing as he wanted to drive tourism towards the area. Due to the popularity of the legend, many tourists from around the world will visit Scotland to hunt and find the Loch Ness Monster for themselves. With 3.5 million people from outside the UK going to Scotland in 2018, around 400,000 of those people will visit the area of Loch Ness each year. In 2018, a study was conducted to see just how valuable the Loch Ness Monster legend is. It's estimated that money from tourism is worth 41 million pounds towards Scotland's economy. That's a little over 51 million dollars. In the same year of 2018, Scotland brought in a total of 5 billion pounds of tourism altogether, or nearly $6.3 billion. Over the years, a number of companies and organizations have put out rewards for proof that Nessie exists, mostly in the name of marketing. In 2007, British bookmakers William Hill offered a reward of 1 million pounds. That's around $1.25 million. However, there was a catch. The proof had to be good enough to convince the experts at the London Natural History Museum. You see, in 2018, as part of the marketing for the video game Monster Hunter World, video game company Capcom offered a reward for proof of any mythical monster mentioned on their list, which included Nessie, Bigfoot, Chupacabra, and many more. Cryptozoologist John Downs was even brought in to help look through any potential evidence sent in. The reward was for £50,000 or $63,000 for any clear and comprehensive evidence. In 2019, a video rode across the internet proving once and for all that Nessie is alive and kicking in her lake. Some said the video was taken via an underwater drone during an expedition to search for the mythical beast. However, in reality, that's not the case. There was an underwater drone used in an expedition in 2016. The drone, named Munin after one of Odin's ravens, was created by Norwegian technology company Kongsberg Maritime. The drone is often used to search for downed aircraft lost at sea. It can map as far down as nearly 1,500 500 feet into the water's depth. In their experiment of Loch Ness, the researchers managed to find Nessie. Uh, sort of. It was actually a 30-foot discarded prop of Nessie from the 1970 film The Private Life of Sherlock Holmes. But that's a different story. The video from 2019 was actually taken on a stationary underwater camera that is present in the lake most of the time. The camera in question belongs to the Ness Fishery Board. The camera's there to monitor the number of fish present in the lake, all to keep a close eye on the salmon population in particular and other such species. In the background of the short clip, we can see an aquatic creature slither away in the murky waters. It's only briefly, but it's enough to get the internet talking. While some have speculated that it's Nessie, others believe it's actually a large eel. The board themselves made this connection when they first posted the video on social media. However, I'll let you decide what that unknown being actually is. Is this finally the proof of the Loch Ness Monster or just a large eel? Let us know in the comments. 
And that's it. Are you a believer in the mythical beast? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. All those actions really help us out. Finally, thank you for joining us today. We'll see you next time.